Now, let's just store all of these. Still another five minutes before we get the next recipe. And I do need to get the computers here. Okay, we'll put all of our spare explosives in here. We just need one stack for ourselves. And I guess... Oh, we still have explosive powder. Okay. And stow away all of this meat. So we really don't need it. In fact, we don't need these radio control units, do we? And we do have two stacks of turbo motors. Wait, did I buy these? Oh, same thing with the batteries. But the heat sinks... These are the ones we collected. Uh, probably should stow away these aluminum casings. And... Actually, you know what? Let's take these. And... Anything in excess we have, let's just dump it into the awesome shop here. Let's just do that. Now, what else do we need? Plates. We need iron rods. Let's get one stack of plates here. Stack of... Three stacks of iron rods. I guess four. And then we'll put all of our excess materials in here so it goes into the awesome shop. And we really don't need these steel beams, do we? We don't need this many iron plates. We don't need this many modular frames. Or, you know what? We should put the modular frame somewhere else. Put this here. We don't need that much wire. High speed connectors. Probably should bring that up with us. And that should be it. Now go up to the fourth floor and we'll pick up some aluminum sheets. And then we'll head up to the fifth floor, pick up the supercomputers. Maybe not in that order. Let's go to the fifth floor. And then the computers over here. Yeah, okay. Let's take... Actually, let's take all of them. Now from here... I uh, probably didn't need to scan it right now. I need to go up to the fourth floor. Get some materials. I also need the heavy modular frames. So we'll get that from over here as well. just get two stacks of these and then a bunch of stacks of this and that should do it oh I also need motors oh we should get that you know what? let's fly down okay so the motors should be over here And you know what, I think we should probably get, like, some staters going. Oh wait, I need... Ah, damn it. I actually need concrete. I didn't leave room for concrete. But I do need staters, so where are you? Oh, I just need one stack. Thank you. And then... Oh, you know what? Let's go over here, go up to the fourth floor and start filling up the uh, heavy modular frame production with our spare modular frames. Just so we can keep this going. And we have three stacks of this.
Yeah, there we go. Now I do want to keep a couple of slots empty just because I need the concrete. I probably should return some of these things. Yeah, I have too many of them. Uh, let's get back to Blade Runners. So we have everything we need for geothermal generators. Let's go back down here. And then we have a MAM somewhere over here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we got adhered iron plates. This makes reinforced iron plates. You know what? This might actually be useful. Now this, no. Cheap silica, no. Let's do adhered iron plates. In fact, we can use the rubber, mix it with the iron plates that we're like producing in mass because of the other alternate recipe. We're going to need this. So instead of this complex recipe over here, or this complex recipe over here with the screws and the iron plates, we can just use rubber. And that'll give us even more reinforced iron plates. Wait, how long does it take to make? Five per minute. Now... Let me see this. Yeah, this doesn't produce as much. It's not as fast as this, but this uses less resources. A lot less resources. So I want to take advantage of that. But in the meantime, let's go and get our uh, geothermal generators. And that also means going like down here. So we should be able to make two of them. I saw two geysers down there. I forgot the concrete. What the hell is wrong with me? Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, where is the closest place I can get concrete? What about this container? No. Now I do have containers around here with stuff that I left around just because. Now I'm pretty sure there are no there's no concrete in here. There's screws, cables, nothing and yeah, you're not producing concrete. You don't have concrete. You have Steel pipes, case industrial beams. No. Ah, damn it. What about this container? No concrete. Okay, so we're going back over... This pipe. And this will take us to our containers over here with the concrete. Well, not directly. It will take us to this hub which we will go down here and get some concrete. Okay. Okay, 3,000 concrete. Should be more than enough for our needs. And you know what, I'll just, you know what, this is actually faster. Just walking through here. Well, I guess jump sliding or crouch sliding. Okay, now we have everything we need. I was just looking at the right side of the screen. Didn't really notice. We needed the concrete so that we can make the power poles. All right, now we're back here. All right, let's put on the hover pack. There we go. Oh 
Oh, you can actually hit me, huh? Boom. Who else wants some? Nobody. Okay. Now, we already took that site over there. So, we're not going to bother with that crash site. Now, this thing over here is impure. Alright, let's do this power fuel generator, geothermal generator. Like, which is the front and which is the back? You know what? I'll just put it like this. What do you mean I can't? Ah, oh, damn it. I needed rubber. So, I screwed up again. We need rubber. Alright, let's just go up here. Wow, this thing actually produces a lot of power. And there is no way to overclock this, so what you see is what you get. Though I do have to wonder, how does this work? Once it gets to like 100, what happens? Okay, so it goes back up. Oh, okay. I can't believe I did that. So I'm gonna need more rubber. So we're gonna fly back up here. Or not. Shit. Alright, let's try this. Make the ramps going down. Well, that's going to cost me a few minutes. I do want that other geothermal generator. Alright, Blade Runners. And I probably should have set it for two geothermal generators, then it would have actually told me that I don't have enough rubber. But in the meantime, what I want to do is find the other geysers. Because there is a lot more. Okay, that's the one we got. And there's one in that direction. And I'm just going to crouch slide because since that's faster, hey, there's no fuel in here. Okay, I guess that's fine. Fuel doesn't need to be in here. At least n not anymore. Uh, we don't need that many pipes, do we? Let's just throw this away and throw this away. Just so we can get enough rubber. And we're gonna get, need more high-speed connectors. You know what, let's just put on the hover pack. So we're going all the way up to the fifth floor. Or, yeah, fifth floor. High speed connectors are being automated on the fifth floor. You know what? I probably do need to reconnect this now. Alright, so two stacks of high speed connectors. 
How's this going anyway? Okay, we are actually low on quick wire. So we will need to supplement our stuff here. Gonna find another Caterium node. Alright, le so let's try this again. Wait, that's... That's not the berries. This is the berries. Like, why do they look the same? Why do you have to make them look the same? Oh, we also need to put this back in our hands. That way it's not taking up space in the inventory. Okay, so let's look for the next geyser now. So it's somewhere in that direction. So we will need to like, I guess, cross that bridge. It's probably somewhere across, like somewhere near our oil production area. There we go. 50 to 150. 100 to 300. Okay, not bad. Uh, you know what? Let's put down... Put down the foundations. Put down the foundations here. I'll just build out our uh, batteries here for power storage. We can only build five though because it takes modular frames apparently. Two, three, four. Can't, can't. Seriously? I needed more wires, so I guess I'm only making four of these. What the hell? You know, probably should have planned this out better. Like, put it on the sidebar and make sure that I can actually build them. Okay, so this is charging up. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then I'll put foundations here. And here. There. Well, at the very least, we have more power. Now let's go find this stuff. Yeah, go across the bridge. It is somewhere in that direction. Now, do I have enough? Fourteen. How do I get fourteen? Keep five. Okay, I can afford four more geothermal generators. Oh, come on. So we'll finish up with the geothermal generators and then we'll work on getting more Caterium going. Now did I get an alternate recipe for uh, Caterium ingots or quick wire? I need to check this. Yeah, I do have an alternate recipe. But honestly, it seems like it's better to just put it in, use this standard recipe, put it in a constructor, or not a constructor, a, um, what's its face? 
uh, the smelters. Yeah, smelters seem a lot better than this. I guess we're kind of starved for uh, Caterium Ore, so... That's the upside for using the alternate recipe. Now, before we go on, let's go and check these containers. Okay, heavy oil is going down. We still have plenty of fuel here. Plenty of fuel. Okay, let's see where the geyser's at. If it's in this direction, which it is, then we'll go here. That's convenient. Now, I didn't see this before. Or maybe I did and I forgot. But it's right here. This is a normal geyser. Alright, let's get this up and running. Put you here. Wires too long, huh? All right. So that's a normal geyser. Make sure it's working properly, and then we'll head out to the next geyser. We can still build three more. Yeah, it's working. And then there's geysers over here. Or is that the same one we exploited earlier? We haven't actually been over here. Oh, shit, shit. No, no, no. Oh, there's a slug. All right, then. All right, come here. It's just you. And I will take this slug. Anyone object? No? Okay. So, oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so, um, I came from here. Geysers are in this direction. And these are the geysers I exploited, I believe. Yes, it is. Oh. You know what? I'm getting out of here. No point in me being here anymore. We do have geysers over there, so we got that. We don't have those. Geysers are in this direction. Oh, come on. Hard to tell which is the upwards moving, which is downwards. Oh, it's actually down here. That's convenient. Oh, shit, shit, shh. I'm fine. <laughs> Damn. Okay, we are clear. This is normal. Is there anything over here besides gas okay so those are the other geysers and let's take advantage of this okay now we need to get back up there somehow There's also geysers in this direction, and I don't think I exploited those yet. But let's just go up here first. 
get this connected and then we'll get the thing over there we can afford two more Let's get these berries This berry over here. All right. There you are. I'll just bring you up here. And bring you over here. All right. That looks like it's working. All right, now it was in this direction, I believe. Let's spend our last two geothermal generators over here. It's either one or two geysers. Oh, is right here? Fire space elevator? Oh, it's impure. And there's only one. Well, all right. Let's go get it. Like, it's impure. It's not producing much, but it's better than nothing. I'll just put you like so. Then we'll connect you here. And there we go. Yeah, 150 to 150. You know what? Let's see what we got over here. It's about 600 meters away. And I haven't really explored this. Oh! I almost jumped off. <laughs> okay. You know what? Forget about it. Uh, <laughs> wow. Can't believe I almost did that. Anyway, I think that's it for now. Next thing we should do is try to get some more Caterium going. Now, I want to get Caterium somewhere near our production area over there and then feed it onto our existing line. So we have another slug. So just real quick, what I'm going to do is process these shards. Well, I guess it's one shard. Any inventory that needs to be dumped, let's dump it. And probably could keep the high speed connectors. Okay, so we'll keep these five shards in our inventory. And probably should reload on the modular frames. And, you know, since we're going this way anyway, might as well just pass through here. Okay, so how many geothermal power generators did we put down? Three, four... Is it four or five? 